And now, Button Masher Bros present The History of Things, Ludum Dare. Hi, I'm Josh. And I'm Chris. And we're the Button Masher Bros. And today, we're going to present something new. And yet, also very old. Tonight, we're going to dive deep into the history of Ludum Dare. Where did it come from? What is it? And how can you get involved? Now, the pronunciation of Ludum Dare has been a hot point of contention since the contest's genesis. Is it Ludum Dare? Is it Ludum Dare? Is it Ludum Dare? Nobody really knows, except, perhaps, the man himself, Mike Kaspers... Kaz... Kazakker... What the fuck is it? Kasperzak. Kasperzak! We have an interview with the man himself to shed some light on this issue. Mike, what do you say? Yeah. How, how did you get in my house? Thanks, Mike, for that insight. So what is Ludum Dare? Where did it find its origins? The answers are shrouded in the mysteries of time. The ancient Aztecs spent eons combing the heavens, searching for dank-ass themes for which to base their primitive and often violent video games. Their great spiritual guide, known as Pollo de Cilio, bestowed upon them themes for which to base their games. Montezuma ordered his tribesmen to perform barbaric rituals to determine the season's official theme. Today, this is known as the theme slaughter. Today, we actually vote to choose our themes as opposed to ripping the hearts out of our rival tribesmen. That's right, Josh. Now, you might be asking yourself, what exactly is the Ludum Dare competition? Ludum Dare is a game development competition where participants have to fully develop and upload a game within a certain time limit. Over time, the game development community divided into two separate schools of thought. Some advocated for the purest 48-hour solo competition. It would become known as Compers. Alternatively, Jammers believed the contest should allow multiple people to work together and the contest should last 72 hours. Compos and jammers have since come to an uneasy peace. These time sanctions were first imposed during Ludum Dare 3 in 1812. Famous game developer Abraham Lincoln was actually caught programming prior to the start of the contest. All I was doing was establishing a code base. Abraham Lincoln would later become the president of the United States of America. Scholars of Ludum Dare lore have brooded over the earliest known question. How can I come up with good ideas and what makes a great game? Scientists believe that the answer lies within our own DNA. The key to creating a good game is actually to tap into those primal desires, that which is the essence of humanity. In layman's terms, it boils down to making something functional and polished. Throughout its expansive history, Ludum Dare has seen a number of different types of games. Contrary to modern belief, Ludum Dare is not just limited to video games. No, it isn't, Josh. See, Ludum Dare competition will actually accept games of all types, from board games, to video games, to even card games. The judging process for this competition has been refined thoroughly from earlier practices. Formally, deciding a winner was actually based on scrying and witchcraft. But contestants that lost revolted, and this bloody era in history became known as the Salem Witch Trials. After years of brutal disfigurements, human sacrifices, and plague outbreaks, the Ludum Dare Council came together and decided on a list of eight categories for which to judge, and a special ninth category. And here they are. Coolness is special, though. We'll get to that one in a second. As dictated by the Ludum Dare Council, each entry will receive a score out of five in each of these categories voted on by the community. Coolness, however, is different. Gandhi once said, Don't be a fool, be cool. I'm hungry. Coolness is actually determined by the number of games that you've rated. The higher your coolness value, the more likely you're going to show up on the front page of submissions and the more likely people will see your game. Finally, remember, communities are strong if you work in good communication. Do you think that Genghis Khan could have fathered one-fifth of the world's population without the help of the Mongol hordes? Hell no! Genghis Khan would later become the President of the United States. Remember to post pictures, videos, live streams, anything you can to the community so that you can get feedback. Sadly, there was not a prize for winning Ludum Dare. Historians believe there was a prize at some point, but it was lost for some reason. We don't know why. What, you got a problem? 
It's late and we've run out of ideas, so sue us. Fuck it. Hey guys, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching our silly bullshit little shadow keynote. Uh, it's not bullshit. Uh, is very historically accurate. I did all of the research myself. He slaved all night, ladies and gentlemen. Well, uh, afternoon today, really. Yeah, you just Google searched a few things, or? It was Bing. Oh, well, close enough. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with us, we actually do a Ludum Dare series every Ludum Dare, or at least the last three. Uh, it's a Ludum Dare to Believe! Yeah. And logo should be right about here. It might be covering us a little bit, but you know, just get out of there. Now then, uh, if you are interested in watching the show, we have three little annotations here. We bloop, bloop, bloop. And that's season one, season two, and season three of the Ludum Dare to Believe series. Be sure to check them out. And uh, coming up soon, right after the competition, we're actually gonna be putting out a Google form for you guys to fill out and then be able to send us your games. Either send us your own games. Self-promotion is perfectly fine. Absolutely Nothing fine. wrong with that. Nothing but, wrong. But uh, we'd love to see what games you think that should be in the, in the showcase. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be the best game in the world, but you know, just whatever you think deserves to be in the showcase. So we look forward to seeing you in season four of Ludum Nadamali. Getting too old for this. Oh god, headache. Oh, so, sudden headache. Can't really get out that way. Um, I gotta go this way. Zach, you got the lights? Uh, yeah, man. Oh, uh, cool. I think I'm also gonna take this chair. Why are you gonna take the chair? We don't own we that. We can oh, go. It's really nice. Nobody's gonna miss it. Can we, can we go this way? It's gonna be fine. Uh, we can put this in your car, right? The door's locked over here, guys. I don't know. It's Chris's car. Chris, do you have enough space for this chair? What? I guess, I guess we can leave Josh here. That's bullshit. Get on the lights. Oh shit, the camera! I forgot the fucking camera. What the fuck? Is it still rolling? I think uh, it's still baby. fucking rolling, dude. Jesus Christ. God damn it, yeah. Here <laughs> so it is Josh, right here. you left your $10 billion camera here.